Hi, Stacey here with Getting Organized Magazine, and today we're going to do plasticware. This is often the biggest disaster in anyone's kitchen. You know that this pile up, it's falling down. It is something that doesn't work. So what we want to do today is we want to gather all of your plasticware. We want to find it everywhere. We want you to pull it out of all the cabinets. We want to figure out what you've got. So go gather all of your plasticware together. Then what we want to do is we want to match all of the lids with the bases. So we want to make sure that they work and that they um, fit and that they are sealing. Um, you want to make sure that you have matching pieces for everything. And I know we have an extra one over here. So this is a lid that doesn't go with a base anywhere. We can't find it. And it's one of the locking ones that is broken. Now, it's not to say it still wouldn't lock, but you probably aren't going to get that good of a seal. And the fact that we don't actually have the base means this is an easy toss. So we want to go ahead and get rid of that one. Now, this is one of the free food container ones that came with um, probably a meat or something like that, deli meat. Now, totally into recycling, reorganizing with the tools that you already have. I think that's fantastic. The thing about this one is it's broken. And so there's no reason to keep a free plasticware that's broken um, when you have others. So we want to go ahead and get rid of this one as well. Then what we want to do is kind of figure out sizes and shapes because this is where we're going to make some tough decisions. We have the jar version, we have round versions, we have plastic, we have glass, we have square, we have rectangular, we have small, we have big. So we have quite the variety here. And again, you'll find that storing and stacking these <laughs> becomes quite the Jenga game. And we want to we want to settle that. So one of the things that you can do that I think is the easiest is to pick a shape that works for you and stick with that. Because let's say we have round and we have a small, medium, and large, so you're able to store a variety of different things. But in doing that, you can nest. And look how much easier that is. Now you can do that with rectangular, you can do that with square, but it's so much easier to be able to nest things together and it takes up a lot less space. And then you've got your lids with it. Now the other solution to this is that there are a lot of um, different plasticware, glassware that the lids will actually, now they connect right to the bottom. So you can get them to snap right in so that you won't lose the lid. So if you're one of those people that can never find the lid and the base together, there are products out there that will snap together or where the lids snap together and then everything nests well together. So I would suggest looking at something like that. I've even seen a version where the lid is attached to it like this so that you just close it and store it and, and use it with the lid attached. So I think this is a great um, solution. We want to pick a shape that works for us, and you can do multiple sizes that way, but then you're able to nest and, and store them. You're taking up a less of a footprint in your storage. The other thing that I really love is an organized Tupperware type situation. Um, this is a system where the base and the lid are stored in this um, container. It comes with it. You get two different sizes. You get the large, and then you get a half version of this. And so the lids work on they're the same shape and so they work on the small and the large so I think this is great because not only do you have um, the bases that you need the lids that you need but it's in something that is easily um, organized and stored and everything that you have is right here and again we're taking up kind of a small footprint on that so what we want to do is gather everything match our lids find out if anything is broken or missing then we want to figure out what uh, shapes we want to keep so if you want to do all rectangular all circular um, then again you can figure out your sizes if this is something you're never going to use because you you're a family of two and you just don't have any leftovers like this and you're not baking cookies or cakes or anything like that go ahead and, and donate it or toss it recycle it because again there's no reason in keeping it if you're not actually using it it's very important to be using these products. Now one thing I do recommend is if you've got uh, plasticware or glassware that's working for you and you're using it on a regular basis, I would consider labeling them. This is called an easy label and it's basically a dry erase label. It goes through the dishwasher, you can freeze it, um, it comes with a pen and an eraser, it works really well. So you can write on here your the food that's in here, the type of food that's in here, because especially in the freezer, oftentimes you get things out and it's totally unidentifiable, you don't even know what it is. It's freezer burnt, you have no idea when you put it in there, so you end up tossing it. This, um, I use it for the fridge, I have leftovers, I use it for the freezer, anything that I'm storing, I put um, an easy label on it. I write the type of food it is and the date so that I know. It's, it makes it much easier. And so then when you're actually storing things, you're not struggling with that. 
so today's tidy task is plasticware. go gather it all up, match the lids, figure out what's broken, toss all of that. if it's stained and you know you're not going to use it if it's something that is too big, too small, you're not using it, not the right shape, i want you to get rid of it. and then i want you to consider either picking a shape that works for you or buying a new set that you know is going to be all together, easily organized. you don't have to spend a lot of money on it, but trust me, it's going to make your life a lot easier if you have something like this versus something like this. So, go do your tidy task.